What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today in this video we're gonna be using Juliana Pena. Right there you see her perks. Wrestling Clinic level four, Vengeful level four, Slam Boost level three, and Grind and Pound level three. She made her return last night. She is one of my favorite fighters in the women's division. I really feel like she has a shot at becoming a contender. Last night, you know, the fight wasn't pretty, but you gotta think, she took two years off, she had a kid, but I feel like uh, she could be, you know, what am I trying to say? Knock off the ring rust, the cage rust, and, you know, get back to it. She did not really look good in the first round of uh, the fight last night, but, and the fight was pretty ugly, but... That's most of uh, Juliana's fights. They're all kind of ugly. So, that's going to be my game plan, really. It's to try to just uh, make this fight as ugly as I can. And uh, see what we can do here. I'm going to try to grapple it when I see the opening. Ooh, right there, should have clinched. But I'm a, oh, she went for a body hook there. Went for a body hook right here. I'm just trying to stick to her. Gotta be careful of that. Casangano is uh, pretty good in this game. I've used her a few times. Her striking's pretty good, but right there I got her down. Let's see if I can stay on top for a little bit. Oh man, I should have saw that coming. But Julian Pena, yeah, man, her style is uh, just go for it, balls to the wall, she wing hooks. To close the distance, try to clinch, try to get the fight to the ground. On top, she's a monster. She'll throw elbows. She didn't really showcase it last night, but that just goes to show you how good her opponent was. Nico Montoya. They're both coming off a long layoff, you know, so. There's that. So I think that had a lot to do with it. Right there. That's something that I, I don't know if you guys noticed, but that's something that I like to do in this game is that takedown off the jab, off the lunch and jab. Alright, she was able to get on top here. I'm just, uh. Alright, so I'm gonna have to fake a little bit. This guy seems to know what he's doing on the ground at least. So, let's throw a few fakes here. Boom. I faked twice in one direction. Then I went that direction. Sometimes that confuses some people. They expect you to go the opposite way that you faked, so. Like, I'll do what I did right there, you know, I'll fake to the left, fake to the left, and then I'll go left. Deny that. Just trying to do some damage here, I'm not really trying to finish the fight. I know there's only 10 seconds left. So yeah, I was able to get a rock in the first like 30 seconds. She was going for a body hook. I intercepted it with an uppercut. So let's see if we can do some more damage here. I want to try to press forward a little bit more, but she's using that jab a lot. Or he's using that jab a lot. The, thing, the good thing about uh, Juliana is her block is at 90. So it's pretty decent. That's her best uh, 
what I'm trying to say. That's her best striking stat. Oh, death combo. Oh, death combo again. I'm just winging. Oh, good, good. She arm trapped that. I doubled up on that death combo. But yeah, I was saying her. Like that's her best stat. Her best stat on the feet is her block. So it's kind of a good thing because her head movement's not that good. Oh, got caught there. There's that block saving me. Oh, nice. Oh, got to be careful doing that, man. Damn. All right. Her strategy is the same thing as mine. Just go forward. So uh, it's kind of negating what I want to do. Let's see if I can... Uh, I hit her with the overhand there. Got to hit her with something. Maybe an uppercut. Gotta do something unexpected here. Let's try something. Head kick. Boom. Rip that body. Rock that. That's it. That is it. I'm trying to make these fights uh, ugly, guys. That's how, you know, Juliana fights. I'm trying to make them real ugly. Make him bloody. Boom, uppercut. And her legs left her. And the fight's over. But yeah, Juliana, before she left, I think her only loss in the UFC was to Valentina Shevchenko who is now the flyweight champion so I just say that that's pretty good in the UFC I believe her her records like four and one now or maybe even five and one you know I don't I don't know if that's uh if that's right or if that's accurate Well, let's look at these stats real quick. I always like to look at the stats, as you guys know. So I wasn't that accurate, but it wasn't really about being accurate. It's about just you know trying to push forward, try to wing shots. That's kind of the strategy. Try to use her as she would fight in real life. But I'm gonna go get another fight, and I'll be right back with you guys. It is a women's bantamweight All right, guys. So we're fighting Holly Holm. As you see, me and this guy have fought seven times. I've won four. He's won three. So I'm sure he's going to come out. Guns blazing. Or oh, he's going to try to be really careful. It depends how he wants to use Holly Holm. I don't really remember how this guy fights. I'm not really sure how this player is. I did not mean to do that. I meant to fake, but it's all right. That is all right. So I'm pretty much just going to back up just to get my stamina going. You got to be careful ducking your head like that. Get my stamina back, then just start walking forward again. Try to slip some of these shots. Boom! Juliana special. Hook, hook, hook. Boom. Gonna start winging hooks. When I'm in close like that. Elbow. In the game, she has a level 3 elbow. So I'm trying to sneak that in there when I can. Ah, oh, right there. I hesitated. 
I was hoping for that spear takedown. I should get out of this. Juliana has, I think, I want to say 90 submission defense. I should have went through the stats with you guys. Let me know if you guys like that, like when I go through the stats and stuff. Sometimes I just go through the perks. Alright, so this guy, this guy knows what he's doing on the ground. But he's hauling home, so I should have the grappling advantage. Ooh, he bit on that fake. Alright, he went right away. Most guys wait to do that fall guard transition. And right there, he got out. Let's clinch him. Right there. The old leg grab. Let's get some top mount. Oh, man. I thought I denied that. It's all right. He's going to do it again. Oh, come on. I guess you got to pre-deny that. I was going to try to deny it on reaction, but... Oh, man. She swayed it. Alright, so I, so I rocked her twice. I rocked him twice. This player is very good at getting back to the feet. But at least maybe I got him worried about the ground now. Oh, he's winging shots. Alright. I can't let Holly Holm get that distance. This is this is where I want the fight to be, right here. You know, boxing range. Boom, as I get dropped. I don't really want her in kicking range. Uppercut, the uppercut's my shot. Boom, see, the uppercut's my shot. Marching forward. Oh, just backing up, just to get my stamina. Good on him to do that body kick. But I feel like it's a matter of time. He's throwing shots when his head's flashing. His head out there. I'm just waiting on a... Get my stamina back, then just explode. Boom. Done. And I did not mean to follow up. I was just throwing combos. So I guess the input to follow up. But that's how I like to use Julian Pena. Sometimes it doesn't work out for me. But I could not let Holly home put me in kicking range he should have been you know trying to make distance maybe use a stiff arm retreat maybe use teeps if Holly Holm has those but in close range I feel Julian Pena is better at least in this game but no I'm glad that Julian Pena got the win last night like I said, I'm not going to say it was her best performance. It definitely wasn't. But let's hope, you know, she knocked off the cage rust. And hopefully her ne next fight will uh, be better. She'll be back to the more aggressive style that fans of her, her love. And uh, hopefully, hopefully one day she can be a contender, man. I really hope she can. Like I said... As far as uh, women fighters go, she is my favorite one. And I don't really have many favorites for uh, women fighters. So, 
saying that I guess it means a lot coming from me but anyway guys hope you enjoyed it if you did uh, leave a like it really helps out the videos if you want to subscribe to see more please do that but anyway guys I'll see you in the next one keep having fun peace